Nigel, as a top referee, you've dealt with many top players, some difficult, some not. Where does Brian O'Driscoll rank <laughs> in that league table? <laughs> Um, no, he was, he, was, he was a good player. I refereed him when he was a captain a few times as well. So um, it's always been a pleasure to referee him. Actually, you know, he gives it all. Uh, he asks you the questions uh, when when needs to be during the game, uh, and some of them times they're in difficult situations. But that's that's the captain's role, and he, and he did that very well. It was quite different when you refereed Ireland because he was the captain, um, and when I'd go to the change room to do the boots and stuff, he'd, he'd come along and say, "Right, Nigel, I'm the captain. Um, anything uh, to do with the forwards." Paul will sort it out with you, um, but if you need me, then then give me a shout. So uh, then I was just telling, well, if I do need you, then you know there's there's going to be trouble. Otherwise, I'll sort it out here. It's not often that as a referee, you referee a game because you're concentrating so much in a game. You tend to be oblivious of what's happening around you, how great the game is, somebody's performance in the game. And on only a couple of occasions that's happened. And one of them it was Bath against Leinster, and uh, just just. just played out, out of this world. I think he had got a few turnovers, he did a few tries and I think he scored one or two as well. I think sometimes today we, we use the word great and, and legends with, without thinking much behind it when we use it. But uh, when, you, when you mention Brian O'Driscoll's name as a great player, um, as a legend of the game, uh, it, it's totally justified. And you know, there are, there are not many great players in the world. Um, there are even less great players who are also great people as well, and, and he was he was one of them. He was a great player, but also a good man off off the field as well. So, in the wake of the, the Neil Francis comments, those controversial comments about gay people in sports, did you see any support from from Irish players or Brian Driscoll? I had a few messages, direct messages from a few of the Irish players, um, saying you know, well done on on, on speaking out. Um, and Brian Driscoll was was one of them. He, he sent a message and say, well done on speaking sensibly. You know, you. You've done a lot not only for, for gay people in sport, but for, for straight people as well. So I thought, you know, you didn't have to do that, and neither did some of the other privileged players as well. So, you know, it, uh, it took a good man to do that, I thought. Total respect from, from a Welsh perspective. Um, and when, you know, when the people of Wales support the Lions, you know, he was one of the great players that they always wanted to see in, in the team. As a Welsh spectator and, and as the Welsh people, yeah, just huge, huge respect for him. Well, he was, you know, he was a great player. Yeah. And he still is, because he hasn't quite finished yet. Exactly. The next game is Brian Driscoll's last time international, um, and you're going to be the man in the middle. Are you looking forward to it? It's a privilege and an honour to, to referee any game, but to referee somebody as great as him in his, in his last game. So I'm looking forward to it, it becoming my 50th cap, and, and it's nice that it's here in Dublin because the first cap was involved Ireland. Uh, and of course it, it has a bit more special then that you know, you, you're refereeing the last international of, of one of the greatest players ever.